Hello everyone, I am Jackson and you are watching Destination Jackson. This is the list of eight expectations about Japanese culture that you absolutely have right. This is a follow up to last week's video of the nine biggest surprises that I found about Japanese culture. Let me just point out that this is my list of my personal experiences, so it may not be entirely groundbreaking to you. They are things that I found personally. Let's clear up some ugliness right off the top here because apparently last week's video had upset a number of people. I want to say that it was never my intention to offend anyone, and I have nothing but love and respect for Japanese culture and Japanese people. So please accept my sincerest apologies, and let's put that ugliness behind us and move on to this list of expectations and realities. First on this list is the weather. I had heard heading into Japan a number of different times that the weather was going to be insane and to pack accordingly. I was told that it would be hot and humid and rain a lot. And my god, was it hot and humid and did it rain a lot? I'm from Canada, we don't deal with heat well. To only wear tank tops and shorts was rare for me, but it was all I could do to get through the heat. And even then, I was sweating through shirts constantly. And the rain never ended. Everyone in Japan has an umbrella and with good reason. I think I visited in monsoon season because we were hit by a number of monsoons. They delayed trains. They stopped flights, lived up to every expectation that I had. Next on this list is anime. Of course, being a big nerd, I know that Japan is the home of anime. You don't need to be a big nerd to know that. So heading over there, I was curious to see if it was all the rage the way that I anticipated it being, and that also did not disappoint me. There are giant anime stores that are basically bookstores exclusively for anime. Anime is big in print form, but also big in film and TV. So anywhere you went, it would not be hard for you to find almost anything anime. I was also told heading into Japan to expect characters in every form of advertising. While traveling around Japan, I saw characters seemingly shoehorned into every industry. Most memorably, I saw a ad on the subway a number of times for Gillette razors, where a razor blade became a robot and fought, I guess, lesser quality razors and won. And proved that Gillette was a razor worth purchasing. I don't know. But they also have characters and small mascots for different restaurants and even karaoke places. Characters are very, very prevalent in Japanese culture. I can't talk about characters without mentioning the biggest character of all, and that would be Godzilla. I was so, so thrilled to see that the Japanese culture fully embraced him. Not only is there a giant statue of Godzilla in downtown Tokyo, which I sadly did not get to see, but there was also a Godzilla exhibit celebrating one of their anniversaries and they had everything from props from the film to storyboards and even giant statues of Godzilla used in advertising. It was an incredible way to spend an afternoon and I got one of my favorite shirts out of the deal. Again, going back to being a nerd, I was so thrilled to see that the arcades are exactly as you would have imagined them. Arcades are everywhere in Japan, and they range from big brand name arcades like Taito Station to even small, I guess, mom and pop run arcades. Anywhere you go, you're gonna be able to find games, and that soothed my nerd soul. It was so great to see people in full suits in arcades on their lunch breaks, just playing a couple of games before heading back for the second half of their day. If I lived in Japan, that is exactly the routine that I would embrace. I feel like I can't mention arcades without, in the same breath, mentioning karaoke. This is another expectation I had based mostly in North American film culture. I know a lot of films where I would see different Japanese characters craving karaoke. And the karaoke craze in Japan is very prevalent, but it's not just a small stage in a crowded bar. There are big establishments where you can go and rent out a full room to have a karaoke party. And this involves dressing up in costume and recording things on film. It's an absolutely incredible industry, and yes, I did participate, but no, you will not see a video of it because I actually want you to come back, and I don't think you will if you hear me singing. Next, I want to touch on the height average. I was told that I would stick out like a sore thumb in Japan. I'm six foot one. The national height average of a male in Japan is five foot seven. Now, it's only five foot nine in Canada, so it's not a drastic difference, but I really, really did stand out. There were a number of times where I was approached by Japanese people to take photos with me. I don't know if it's because I was tall or blonde or maybe I looked like someone famous, I don't know. Coming back from Japan, one of the most common questions I was asked was did I eat a lot of sushi? And yes, I did. The food in Japan is one of the things that lived up to 
my expectations and did not let me down a single time. Sushi was delicious anywhere I went, even in the convenience stores, and ramen quickly became my new favorite meal. It is one of the things that I will miss most in leaving Japan, and one of the things that I most look forward to when heading back in the future. Food rounds out my list of eight expectations I had that were 100% correct in heading into Japan. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned next week for another video of my travels around the world. Of course, you can follow me on Instagram to see what I see and follow me on Twitter to know what I know. And why not check out last week's video where apparently I upset people by talking about unexpected things in Japanese culture. Or check out all of the videos from all of my travels in Japan in this convenient little playlist at the bottom of the screen. Throw a link in the description for good measure. I hope to see you all next week, hopefully less offended and less upset about things.